Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, in the previous tutorial, we have already discussed about uh, part families. So this is the continuation of that. This is a, a scan part. So in the previous uh, example, I have just uh, shown you how the part families work, uh, like a basic example. So in this one, I will show you some advanced so that uh, you can not only use it for uh, uh, bolts and the nuts you can also use it for some modeling purpose as well so let's get started now I will create a new file so I'm just creating a new file let's uh, go inside this okay now I will create one sketch so let's go to sketcher and uh, select uh, plane and uh, just select uh, create a small uh, rectangle with uh, 100 mm so i just view this preference as uh, height so let's create it as h and make it as 100 and hit ok so now this one i will make it as uh, width and 100 and hit ok Close it and let's uh, finish the sketch. And uh, now we'll extrude this from 5 mm and click OK. So, I will, what I will do is I will just create one more sketch on this uh, body. So, let's select this and click OK. Now, I will make a folds on this body. So, let's make it as a 5 mm folds. So, I'll just give the dimension as 5 mm. And this as well. So now the fold is came. So what I will do is I will just make it as a linear pattern. So I'll just select a pattern command and I will go to linear and I'll just uh, make it as linear command. So the first direction is along y axis and the second direction along x axis. So first direction what I will do is I will count and pitch. So pitch I will select it as a NMM. And pitch, uh, and sorry, uh, I'll just select a pitch and span. So pitch will be 10 mm, and uh, my span will be I'll just make a formula, use a formula. So as you can see, this um, this is uh, along the height. So what I'll do is to select a formula, and I'll make it as h minus 10, and I'll click OK. So this will become h minus 10. Now what I will do is I will uh, make the same thing for this as well pitch and span. So pitch I will give it as 10 and the uh, span will be width minus 10. So I will just select a width minus 10. Yep, okay. So as you can see here uh, this is created and now I will select our curve. So once I select the curve it will automatically generate the uh, respected patterns. So this is already created. So I'll just click uh, OK. Now what I will do is uh, I will make a finished sketch and I will extrude this sketch. As I always uh, prefer the sketch from the part navigator, it is better and it is a safe. So I'll just select this and let's make this in the opposite direction and. Uh, Subtract the this so let's make it a fold. So as you can see here, there is a, there are so many folds on this block. So suppose if you want a similar kind of uh, block with the folds for uh, many number of uh, components, so you, you can also use uh, such a cases for part families as well. So I'll just show you how we can make it. So I'll quickly save this. Okay. I'll just uh, make it as save as. So I'll save it in uh, desktop part families. Let's save it here. Okay, save now. Now we have to go to part families. So go to menu toolbar and uh, part families. So here uh, our uh, variable dimension is h. So I'll take it to my spreadsheet as well as w into my spreadsheet. So the file should be. Uh, saved in 
part of this folder. So I give on the directory to say now what I will do is I will just create a spreadsheet. So let's create a spreadsheet here if it will uh, Excel will be opened in which you need to enter the dimensions. So I'll just give the naming first. But I'll just create a three files because uh, if I give many number of files, it will take a lot of time to make the create the components. So uh, it is very quick when we have a very good compilation of system. So let's make it as this. So, sorry, eight. So I'll make this as uh, 100, 200, so 200, 300, and uh, 300, 500. Okay. So as I uh, already explained you how to create the part family, so I'll just select it, this and uh, let's create files. So it is started creating. Uh, it is showing like a member in a row to number two is invalid for creation. Let's see what it happens. So the sixth member is already created. Maybe it will take some time to create the files. This goes very fast when you have a very good computer with a very good RAM and as well as the processor. So it depends on your uh, system configuration. So I will come back once uh, all the files are created. Okay guys, uh, now you can see here parts families are created. So we will just uh, close this uh, information window as well as uh, we just cancel this and click S for this. So you can see this uh, spreadsheet exit detected. So it will just exit this uh, Excel sheet. So now what I will do is I will just open those files. Let's create a new assembly file. Okay, select assembly. Click OK. And uh, open files. Let's open six, seven, eight files and click OK. And now it will import all four of the files. So it is imported. Click OK. As you can see here, these files are created. So it depends on uh, this is I think 500 something we have given uh, the values and uh, I think values are here. Okay, it's closed. See, these are the components we have created. So like this, if you can create n number of parts, but uh, make sure that um, if you goes on increasing the uh, number of components in the, the spreadsheet, it will take. Uh, uh, the time the time taken by the NX will be more and sometimes uh, it will not respond and immediately it will give NX is not responding so you just need to close this uh, NX and uh, reopen it. So uh, this will be helpful like this uh, it will be um, you can use it in many number of uh, components creating for this. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for uh, some other videos as well. Thank you.